everybody. Welcome to Strumming with Christopher. I'm Christopher Gallegos with Monterey County Free Libraries, Gonzales Branch. So a couple episodes ago, I discussed major seventh chords, kind of the entry-level jazz chord. Right? Um, really beautiful chords. I can't leave out the minor chords. So minor seventh chords, much like major seventh, they still have that tonality. Basically, they have a major character, happy, bright, minor character, a little more sad, a little more ghostly, whatever you want to say. Um, but they're both important. And, and in jazz, you start having these chords that are what they call extensions. Basically, take major or minor chords, and there's a different kind of chord called augmented that uh, you don't hear a lot, or diminished. Um, but major and minor are kind of the main things. There's also seventh and other things, but major and minor are what you want to learn first with every variety of chord. So major seventh, minor seventh, they're very close to a major chord, but they sound very different because there's enough of a rearrangement of the notes, right, that they, they don't sound so uh, boring, right? So I want to show you two minor seventh jazz chord shapes that you can move around, just like the last video about triads. I want to always emphasize these movable shapes as you're learning because there's some chords that sound really awesome that are stuck in one place. I mean, there's there's um, a chord I used in a song I wrote years ago. I still don't know what it's called, but it's an E minor chord of some sort. And then there's an A minor that's like that too. It uses a lot of open strings. Those are great chords, but they're stuck in one spot. If we have these pretty sounding, jazzy sounding chords that we can move all around, it's a win, right? So let's get into our root note on the low E string, minor seventh chord. So the minor seventh chord technically is a really bland kind of shape with your pinky, two fingers, pinky and index finger. Probably the only chord that you'll have like that, but I want to show you something a little different, and it's an approach we haven't really taken yet, which is fine. And that approach is you're only using two fingers, but you're doing some muting of strings, which we've discussed before. Okay, so let's go down to fret five. One, two, three, four, five. And let's put our middle finger on the low E string fifth fret. Make sure that that finger is sitting to where it's uh, sounding this string here, but not sounding that. Kind of muting it there. And then take your ring finger, and you're going to want to bar these three strings. You see how I mashed it down like that? So you're going to be making a little bar with your ring finger on the D string, G string, and B string. And then the high E is also going to be muted. Okay, so it looks like a pretzel. And it's not as hard as it looks. It's maybe the hardest thing is this kind of this bar thing. You gotta practice that. It's like a mash, mash, right? Once you have that and you make sure that you're good at that muting, then you have this really beautiful sounding chord that you can move all up and down like all these other ones. It's a very powerful jazzy sounding chord. So it sounds like this. another shape that uses this uh, A string as kind of a root note there. So this one's a little bit more of a standard looking bar chord type deal. So we learned the uh, minor seventh chord shape, bar chord shape, a while back. Minor seventh. Oh, uh, minor. We're learning the minor seventh. Minor shape, right? We have learned that. So really this one's just taking off the pinky not that pinky. So fret five, you want to bar all those with your index finger. Okay, and make sure, don't be touching the fret wire, good bar technique. Be close, kind of have your finger rolled to the side if that helps you. Then we're going to make an A minor chord as we're learning. So got your middle finger on fret six, B string. Okay, and then you have your pinky on fret seven. On the G string, ring finger above that, D string, 7th fret. 
that's uh, that's an A minor bar chord shape, which we've learned. And we're basically going to just remove our pinky off of that. It's a very subtle distinction. Minor, minor seventh. Okay, but once you have that that concept down, very easy. You already know that minor uh, bar chord shape. You're only changing one note, but that's enough to change the character of the chord. So once you practice those two shapes, you can start putting them together and they're starting to sound really jazzy just because of the nature of the chord. So you have your major sevenths, now you have your minor, major, So once you have these uh, minor seven shapes, start just doing like I always say, move them around, try combinations, learn to shift from each shape to each shape. That's the hardest part for most people. How do I get from one shape to the other? It's just practice. It's, it's like an exercise, you know. Once you can do it, it's fun. And once you really start getting your, your fingers, uh, you know, used to these shapes, you can even do something. I'll, I'll, I'll cap it off of this. You can actually do... Like, say I want to do a E minor 7, A minor 7, B minor 7, and then I can end it with a, uh, a major 7th chord. So it would sound like this. So three minor 7th chords using the shapes I showed you, and then ending it with a major. So generally you don't see that in pop music, but in jazz you have major and minor in one song. So check this out just in a, a, a demonstration of what these chords can do. That major chord sounds really good at the end. Minor seventh, major seventh, sounds jazzy and and once you start getting some right hand technique it really can sound jazzy okay so again that's why these little lessons and these discussions are so simple but they give you a lot to work with because once you learn the shape and you get an idea of how it might fit into a progression or a sound you can start improvising. Oh, there you go. You can improvise with chords too. It's okay. So, till next time, stay jazzy.